Hi. Yesterday I was working with a client and she wanted to be able to review batches and payables that one of her staff members had entered in. So I told her to go to the purchasing series and under transactions and batches she could pull up the batch and then print the batch edit list and she could either print it to paper or print it to the screen to review the batches. This is not a very pretty report to look at. There is a lot of space and a lot of information and all she really wanted to know was just some general information about the invoice that was entered in and where it was coded in the general ledger. So what we did is we created a link to the database, a link inside the database, and then had Excel look at it so she could use Excel to create and look at that very report. And I'm going to walk you through that process now. Now there is a second part to this video that's the technical side of dealing with setting the view up in SQL. And there's a download of the view so that you don't even have to know how to link everything together. You need SQL experience for that, so if you don't have SQL experience, then you'll need to talk with your partner or find someone who can help you do that part. We could help you do that part if you like. Now, that in mind, uh, keeping that in mind, we're going to do the one part, um, the one time setup information to get this going. And to do this, we're going to start with Excel. And I'm using Excel 2010. And what we're going to do is click on the Data tab, and then we're going to choose From Other Sources, and then we're going to choose um, the Microsoft Query option. Now, when you do this, you're then going to want to select which database you want. Now what this means is you remember when you're logging into Great Plains you see the server name? This server name is going to be what we want in the database name. Okay, so I'm going to just click OK there. Then you're going to use your GP login and in this case I'm logging in as the system administrator. That's your Great Plains login, and then you key in your Great Plains password. At this point, I like to click on Options, and so make sure I'm looking at the database that I want to look at, my company database, the database where the view is located, and then I'll click OK. Now, I see all the different tables out there in the database, and don't worry, this is sound, looks a little complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. You're going to find the view, that was set up for you, in this case View, PM, Work, Distribution, and I'll click on Add. And then I'll close that out. Now in my Microsoft Query, I'm just going to click on the asterisk and it'll add every single column for me. Now at this point, I'm just going to do a File, and then I'm going to Save As, and I'm going to save my query. In this case, I will call it um, let's say PM distribution work. Now you're going to want to make sure you remember where you save this query. So I'm going to save mine. It needs to be in a common folder where you'll always have access to it. I'm going to save mine under C colon backslash Belinda. And now we're going to just simply dump the data to Excel and then click OK. Now let's look at what data is in Excel. All this is one time setup so don't worry about that. We have our batch ID, we have the voucher number, the vendor ID, the vendor name, what kind of document it is, what the document number is, meaning the invoice number, the transaction date, the general ledger posting date, the document amount, and you'll notice that there needs to be at least two lines for every transaction, one for the debit, one for the credit, so the document amount will repeat. We have the debit, the credit, the account number, the account name, the transaction description, if you enter anything in there, and the PO number. Okay, so that's everything that's going to show up in Excel. I'm going to close out Excel and not save what I just put in. And what we're going to do now, in Great Plains, we're going to go to the home uh, page, and under Quick Links, we're going to add a quick link here so I can have quick access to that. So I'll click on the little pencil on that portlet and I'll choose Add and I'm going to choose an external program. And the name, we'll call it Payables Work Distribution Report. 
And now we're going to browse for that Microsoft query that we created. So I put mine in C colon Belinda, and there it is, PM distribution work. And I'll click OK. And OK again. Now, let's refresh our Great Plains homepage. And you can see I have payables distribution work. All that was one time. So now we can just simply click on this external link. Excel will open. It's going to prompt us for our password. We click enter that in and voila, our report will appear up to date. Let's see how we can use this now. I'm going to just select the batch called move this over a little so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to select the batch called Belinda. Now let's go into Gray Plains. Under Purchasing, we'll go to Batches and we'll pull up the Belinda batch. There are three transactions. There are one, two, three transactions. 473, 474, and 484. So, let's go look up voucher number 484. And here it is. It's for Advanced Office Systems. Advanced Office Systems. We could see the document number is 21354. 21354. The date is 412. Let's change the date to 415 and save the transaction. Back in Excel, we'll click on Data and Refresh All. And you're going to notice that the date now changed to 415. We could also see where it was coded in the general ledger. So this was coded to repairs, maintenance, consulting, and training. Let's go back to that 484, go to distributions, and let's change it from 46170 to 46170. Click OK and save. So we should see this change to 46170. We'll refresh all again, and it does. There's only one got you in this particular scenario, and that is going to be on the general ledger posting date. So let's pull this voucher back up, and let's open up the batch. And we can see the posting date is assigned with the batch. If I change this posting date for the batch to 5-1-2017 um, and save, now I'm going to save this transaction one of the things that you're going to notice when you refresh is that only the transaction that was open changed the date. All of them that are assigned to this batch will use the general ledger posting date 4-1, but you would, to get it to change on this report, you would have to pull those transactions up individually and save them. That's the only gotcha. And the reason for that is, and you can see how it's changed that, the reason for that is, is the um, in that file, when it writes to that file begin with, where the um, work the work file, where the invoice information is stored, it just writes in the posting date. And right before it posts, it goes through and it refreshes the posting date. So that's why. So it's it's okay. It'll everything would actually post with the date of five one. Um, so let's go ahead and post this batch called Belinda. And when it finishes, we're going to see that the only batch left for payables transaction entry is the one called payables batch. So back in our um, Excel, I'm going to go back to batches and choose to select all. And we'll refresh again. And now I only see payables batch. Now there's no need to save this file. Um, and to use again. You don't have to do that because when you want to get it fresh again, right from your home page, you would just click on the pay payables distribution work and you could pull it up again. It's that easy to use. Hope this helps.